I think the most important part for an investor, outside of attorneys and title and finding properties, all those things are absolutely important. The, but the most important thing an investor needs to be thinking about is insurance for their properties. And insurance, by far, is important, and here's why. Uh, a lot of investors will go to their insurance agent, they'll, whoever they use as their personal home, auto, uh, boat, whatever insurance, and the problem that they run into is they get the wrong type of insurance policy. They end up getting a homeowner's insurance policy. We're not working with a homeowner's policy. We're working with a vacant property. And the type of policy that I think every investor should have, and I would absolutely consult with your attorney or your uh, insurance agent in regards to this, but what I personally do is I get a vacant property policy on every one of my homes. So when I'm going out there and I am uh, purchasing an investment property, I am getting a vacant property policy on the home because there is going to be no one living inside the property. And a vacant property policy is more expensive than a uh, regular homeowner's policy. And the cost difference, a homeowner's policy for a $100,000 house is maybe $400, $450 a year. On an investment uh, property, vacant property policy, you will have in insurance costs that are maybe $800 to $1,000 a year. But now remember that's prorated. So you're typically owning a home for five months. So it's going to be prorated. You're not going to be paying $1,000 for a year for insurance for that particular property. But the cost is almost, it's sometimes double or a little bit more than a homeowner's insurance policy. But it's going to cover you is what's important. That homeowner's insurance policy, if there is an event, a flooding event, or something occurs at the house, uh, you would not be covered in those cases. So uh, those are some important things in regards to um, having insurance. And I did, and I'm not going to talk much about this right now, but um, uh, newer investors, somebody who hasn't bought a lot of real estate, can also get like one of those home warranties. And I have another video on our website in regards to the home warranty of, uh, where that'll cover any unknown material defects. That's another way, I call it another level of insurance essentially that you can have to cover yourself when you're buying investment homes. So next part is we, I'd wanna get into some of the rehab, I'm working with the rehab teams. How do we come up with some of the rehab estimates? And we'll uh, go into that next.